All right, hi guys. Welcome to Sassy Goose Keto. Hope you guys are having a wonderful cooking up a storm day. I know I am. It is a nice 65 degrees outside and it is time to cook. Today we are gonna be doing some flaxseed wraps. So I'm looking for something else to try and cut them carbs from those carb, uh, carb managers, the low carb wraps. So I'm gonna see if these flax seeds will work. So this is what you're going to need for your flaxseed wrap. You're going to need pink salt, garlic powder, turmeric, ground ginger, and onion powder or onion flakes. And this is chopped onion, onion. I guess it would be considered onion flakes, but um, this is a little bit too, the, it's too flaky, so I'm gonna use onion powder instead of onion flakes. And then you're gonna need your ground flax seed. I already have it ground, you can ground it fresh. So you're gonna need one and a half cups fresh and then grind it up and that'll make one, should make one cup of ground flax seed. And just make sure that it's super fine. All right, so what we're, and you're gonna need, okay. So now that I took you through that, let me give you the measurements. You need one half cup of flaxseed meal, one cup of extra hot water, which I have one cup hot water boiling here, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of onion flakes or onion powder. Depends on how you, how you do it. So I'm trying this for the first time, so I'm taking you guys right along with me to see if we can get some nice flaxseed meal wraps. Alright, so we got all our ingredients measured out here. Salt, turmeric, ginger, garlic, and onion. And then I have my flaxseed here already ready to go. So my hot water is here and it is going. So as your water is boiling, let me push all this stuff back. As your water is boiling, mine is boiling. It is there. And it got some bubbles in it. Let me get you set back down here. Oh, let me zoom out a bit here. Whoa, that's in. Let's get a good view here. And that way we have enough room. Alright, so you're going to take all your flaxseed and all your spices and you're going to mix all your spices together. So you're just gonna give them a good mix in with your black seed. Okay, it's all mixed up and ready to go. All right, I have my boiling water here, guys. And I have all my seasonings and everything ready to go. So I'm gonna pour this in here and it's gonna take about one to two minutes. This is gonna get thick and it's gonna form a dough ball. And then we're gonna take the dough ball off. And I'm gonna be placing it on some, um, some wax paper just so I can cut the dough ball into four, just like she said. Then I'll be using some parchment paper, put that down, and then my rolling pin, and I will be rolling it out. All right, so let's see what we can do. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. Try to get you up as high as I could. I might have to raise you up just a tad bit higher to get you up there, but I think we're good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wooden spatula. I'm going to pour this in the boiling water. And you're just going to keep mixing it around. To get all of that soaked in. Get that water soaked in there. 
then you're just going to keep mixing. Just make sure there's no chunks. Yeah, it's looking good already, guys. <laughs> I didn't put my rubber mat down here, so my... I said it's going to be a little sticky, but not too bad. Alright, I'm now going to turn off my pan and let it cook up furthermore. It became a good dough ball. And as you can see, it's a pretty good dough ball here. And it is a little warm, but it's not super hot. Back to the back. I'm gonna put this here. I'm just gonna fold it up. Now I'm just gonna lay it out because I'm gonna be laying out the parchment paper. Alright, so you're gonna take your dough ball out. Sorry. And it is not sticking to my hands. Nice. I figured it would stick. Just gonna knead it a little bit more just to get it in there. All right, now I'm gonna do like it said. Push it together. That ain't gonna make a difference anyways, but. And then I'm gonna use my spoon. Cut it in four like she said. So now that the four is done, I'll put them off the side. And I've heard that you have to do these when they're warm because if you get them too cold, it's going to be harder to um it's gonna be it's going to be harder to roll out. So we're gonna go ahead. This one. This one. All right, so now I'm going to take my parchment paper and I'm going to make this into a dough, just like she said. Just round it out, flatten it down. And put the other bit of parchment paper. On the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and roll these out. And you can make them as big as you want them. As small as you want them. They are not going to be perfect for me. I just need something to All right, I'm going to pull it off and that is a perfect wrap for me. Wow, that looks beautiful. So, wow, it comes off perfect. Look at that, guys. How exciting. All right. So, I'm going to put this off to the side and wrap number four. So, now we're going to get these a pan, bake them up. Okay guys, now we're going to go ahead and I put my pan on about medium high, just a little bit over medium, just enough, and we're going to get our first wrap in there, see if this works. Okay. 
And I got my first wrap. I'm going to put it in there. You could sprinkle some salt on top of this as well if you want to sprinkle some salt on top of that. I'm just going to let it sit there and let it cook. And you'll start to see it turn. I mean, it'll get brighter, a little bit lighter if I got the, the consistency just right. And it's just going to take a minute to get that cooked up and ready to go. All right, it's starting to dry up. You can see it's starting to dry up. So I'm going to test it to see if I can flip it yet. starting to feel like a wrap. All right, these look amazing. Now it's starting to bubble up a little bit like it said. That's when you know that the wrap is actually begin, beginning to get done because it's bubbling up. That's really good. So this is the first time that um, I'm doing this as well. So I'm taking you guys right along with me to see how they are and I can't wait to see how they taste. All right, so we got that, and we're gonna set it down here and we're gonna let it cool. These are great, guys. Gluten-free, I mean, grain-free. All you need is the flax meal. People with allergies really can have this. I mean, these are going to be delicious. I can't wait to taste them. Wow, it looks great. It's rolling up. I'm pretty excited about that. They're a little bit thicker. They're like a Michelin thickness. So I'm pretty excited about that. I can probably get them a little bit thinner, but these right here are perfect for me. I'm a little excited on that. I can't wait to taste it. I can put some nice yummy wraps with this and make some good wraps. We've got eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are cool. I'm so excited. Alright, guys, and here is the four wraps. And look, they turned out beautiful. And I am so ready. To put these together and they just fold up superb love them I'm like yay so I am super excited so we're gonna put a wrap down on here and I'm going to be using some mayonnaise just to put down on here enough. And a little bit of mustard. Because I like a little bit of mustard. And then I'm just going to be adding some ham. Let's see if I can get it to stay. <laughs> well, we're going to do it this way then. Alright, then I have some spring mix. And if I had sprouts, I'd put some sprouts on it too. But I don't have sprouts. So what I'm going to do is you're going to fold up the bottom like you would a tortilla. And then you're just going to roll your wrap. And look how beautiful that is. Now I'm going to cut my wrap in half. Let's see. Cut beautifully. And there is my wraps, guys. Put one here. 
and one there. And then, I forgot to add, if you wanted some feta cheese or some mozzarella cheese, anything that you want, um, you can sprinkle some cheese on there as well. My daughter doesn't like the feta cheese or anything. She just wanted, I guess I kind of made her for hers first, so. But look how delicious that is. Yummy. Absolutely yummy. Okay, so now I'm going to set hers aside and I'm going to make another one. It's like mine, so you guys can see. Same thing. Let's see, I want a smaller one. I want a big one. I'm gonna do a bigger one. Since I forgot the the cheese, we're gonna do this right. Alright, minis. And I'm using stone ground mustard. And the mayonnaise I'm using is Hellman's. I didn't have any Dukes or anything, so. That. And I'm going to sprinkle some feta here. But first I'm going to add my spring mix. Okay, I put a little bit of spring mix on there. And then I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of feta. Because I love feta cheese. It's delicious. Alright, two pieces of ham. I'm going to turn off to the side. And just like I said, you're still going to roll it like your tortilla shell. And there we go. Oh, and I got is all over my plate because I wasn't even watching. Alright. All right. Put this down. That one up. And there we have our wrap. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope this recipe works out for you. These are super delicious. I love the taste of them. This is going to be a wrap that I'm going to be making quite often every weekend. I'm going to be prepping on this. So you guys have a wonderful cooking up a storm day, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let me know how I'm doing. So thank you so much, and you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you.